Oh, that's a good song, isn't it? All right, Forever Young. Well, maybe not forever, but scientists are seriously saying that they're on the verge of delaying the effects of aging by taking a pill. Now, researchers say that a substance called resveratrol, which uh, I'm understanding that one of my panelists is actually taking, uh, most commonly found in grapes used for wine production, can actually halt diseases like diabetes and cancer and Alzheimer's in mice and maybe one of our panelists, when taken in very large doses. Now, resveratrol has also been put into high-end facial creams and used as a dietary supplement because of its anti-aging benefits. So how safe is it, and is this all for real? Joining us now is Larry Garen Lenny Garente, uh, a molecular biologist and professor at MIT. Sir, welcome. Good to have you with us. Nice to be here. Now, I, I just going to break this down the way that I understood it so that people can get some of this and, it, and it, the way I get it is that when your sort of fertility part of your life starts to wane uh, the muscle sort of maintenance period the, t the tissue maintenance kicks in and this would help you to preserve that tissue that gets eroded by aging is that sort of right it's sort of right I think that this is a strategy that kicks in when uh, calories are scarce in the diet and it's a maintenance strategy to uh, decide not to reproduce but to maintain uh, uh, youth so that you can reproduce later on if food becomes available. Now, the, the deal is that in mice, uh, it, it has completely rejuvenated them and made them really muscular and strong when they were aging, right? Yes. It's, uh, it's, it's a, a process that, that seems to make muscles uh, uh, relatively strong and seems to promote uh, greater survival and greater maintenance of tissues. All right. So the next question is, does it work in human beings and is it safe? Well, we don't know if it works in human beings yet. Those are a study published last year on calorie restriction over a six-month period in humans, which, which was showing some of these changes in the muscle, in muscle biopsies that were carried out. So I think there's a pretty good chance this will work in humans. And the important thing in humans is that I think it can be applied to disease processes, and it can be used to forestall or treat many diseases of aging. All right. Very interesting. We're going to stay on top of this story. And a little bit of red wine, I guess, in the meantime, doesn't hurt, right? Right. All right, Lenny. Thank you very much.